Hi everyone, welcome to Wes Explains Best. Today we're doing a requested Khan Academy. That is, use Pythagorean Theorem to find perimeter. I received a comment from Just Noko who needed help with this one. So this video is for you. Thanks for leaving a comment. And if you need a comment yourself and you're watching this, go ahead, leave a comment, request a certain video, a specific worksheet or Khan Academy. I'll happily make one for you. So the first thing we have to understand about this particular Khan Academy is perimeter. So perimeter is just the sum of the sides, okay? So for a triangle, uh, that's the shape here. We have one, two, three sides. Sorry, my pen is a little finicky. Three sides that we need to find the uh, length of and then add them all. Now, if we have a length like this, that's just vertical, that's the easy way because we can just count the units. So I need to kind of look closely here. We have one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so we have sixteen units on that side. So we're gonna do sixteen plus. Okay, so our side one plus side two plus side three. Side one we got uh, sixteen. Now let's move to side two. Now you can't count that because it's not a diagonal grid. So we're going to have to make another triangle like this, okay, where this is, uh, actually, let me change the color. I'm going to make it green, okay? So I'm going to draw a triangle here. So now I have a new triangle, okay, and I can count these sides easily. I'm trying to compose the triangle as a right triangle because a right triangle, we can easily count the vertical and horizontal distances. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a distance of six for this side of that triangle. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't help that they make this super duper small. Okay, so this is a six by eight. I know my Pythagorean triple rules, but just in case you don't, what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be, I'm calculating side two, and that's the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna call it C. The Pythagorean theorem states that if I square C, the hypotenuse, this is a right triangle, that's gonna be equal to A squared plus B squared and that is C squared, okay? So that's how I'm gonna find my side, okay? Which will be right here, okay? So what I need to do is I need to do six squared plus eight squared, and that will give me that side squared. So what is that equal? That 36 plus 64, that is equal to 100, and what, it's not 100, don't put 100 in there, we have to take the square root of that number at the end and we get 10. So that side is gonna be 10 units long. Okay, now last thing we need to do is we have to add side three. We already know one of the sides. So let me, let me make it in blue here. I already know one of the sides is six. That's gonna stay the same. But now I need to count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this one's also eight. It's the same eight by six right here, eight by six. So this two, side three, we know this one was 10. Side three is also gonna be 10. It's the same length. So I need to add 10 there. Now it's just a matter, 10. Now it's just a matter of adding these all together. So that's 20 plus 16, that is 36 units, okay? Perimeter is adding up all the lengths together of the triangle, so that's 36, and that should be good. All right, next question. What is the perimeter of the triangle? This one's a little bit easier just because we have two lengths right away that we can find, and they made the boxes bigger, so it's easier to see. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Just a real quick thing. I notice this a lot when my students are counting. A lot of times they'll start right on the line. You don't, you have to, that's zero. So you have to start at one here, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see that a lot. You may think, well, duh, but I'm, I'm just telling you, I, that's what I see. So make sure you're not doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. This is another Pythagorean triple. And what I mean by that is if we square five squared and then 12 squared, those are the legs of the triangle. And the hypotenuse is this one. That's our final side. We won't be able to count that because it's at an angle. It's not aligned with our grid. The grid is vertical and horizontal. That's why vertical and horizontal uh, distances are easy to count with sides. But we'll call that C, C squared. That's our hypotenuse. And that's going to give us 25 plus 144 equals C squared. And we get 169 equals C squared. Take the square root of both sides. And we get 13 equals C. So 13 unit up. Ah, I almost messed up. 13 plus 5 plus 12. Okay, add those all up together. That's the final step. 
So that's what, 17 plus 3, 20, 30. So that should be 30. Another 30. Well, the other one was 36. This one's 30. Okay, next question. What is the perimeter of the parallelogram? Now, it's a parallelogram, so I'm going to use a shortcut here. I know this side and this side, because it's parallelogram, are equal. Those are congruent. And I know this side and this side are congruent. So I just need to find one of those combinations of each color. So the blue one, that one's easy. We just go one, two, three, four. Okay, that one's four, so that makes that one four. The pink one, or purple one, that one we're going to need to make a triangle for. It doesn't make, matter how you make it. You could make it this way or that way. Okay, I'm just going to make it this way. And it's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then this we'll call C. That's our missing side. So three squared plus four squared. Again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's our missing side. Nine plus 16 equals C squared. 25 equals C squared. Take the square root. And we get five equals C. So that equals 5. That equals 5. Now we just add them all up. 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 4, 14 plus 4, 18. And we're good. Check. Last one. Okay. Good one to end on. It looks like it's going to be an easier one just because it's easy to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 units there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units there. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. We have 9 squared. Oh. And there's our missing side C. So we have 9 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. So we're going to have to, I'm going to punch that in. Well, it's 81 plus 144. I know that. C squared. Uh, what does that give me? 1, 260 something, 265? No, I don't think that's what it is. Plus 81. Yeah, 225. Woof. Way off. 225 equals C squared. And I know that square root. That's 15 equals C. Now, this was also a Pythagorean triple. I should have recognized that right away. If you hear me saying Pythagorean triple, I don't want to talk about it in this video just because I'm running out of time, but make sure to check that out. It's a great shortcut. But this is 15 now. And now for perimeter, again, just a reminder, we add up all the sides. So that's 9 plus 12 plus 15. I know that's 21 plus 15. That gives us 36 again, right? Yes, it does. No, that's... 21 plus 15, that is 36. And I get 27 plus 9. Yep, 36. Okay, just wanted to double check. I hate getting these wrong live. You know? All right, show summary. Here we go. We got it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for commenting it. Uh, for it, Just Noco, and be sure to leave more comments if you need a specific, a specific video created. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.